best. And of course, one of the things that I'm looking for are interesting stories that I think are going to impact the world, not just the tech industry. You know, what we're here for is to have uh, inspiration and to learn about what the future holds for us. So I want to talk to you, Misha, today about what you have created and what the inspiration was and how you think it's going to really change the world, especially this year. Um, so we, we are launching for South by uh, in public beta a, a new mobile application, uh, which is called the Click App. And we think it's very, very important uh, because the Click App enables you to authenticate your photos and your video. So in short, uh, it means uh, you can prove that they are real and they were not AI generated, which is super important this year for a lot of people because you have uh, globally 50 countries going under elections. So that's almost uh, 2 billion people. Uh, and uh, we think that uh, given all the fake news, misinformation and disinformation, there needs to be a tool out there that's gonna help uh, all of us mm -hmm. uh, know what is real. Okay, so as, of course, uh, as somebody working in the creative industries and in the press, I'm and also as a voter in, in the U.S. elections, I'm very, very concerned about generative AI, about misinformation, and about images, because I work with images in my business all the time. So what you've created is a mobile app, mobile first, I would say, because you can use your app on your phone to basically authenticate any images or video? Is it images and video? Images and video. The, um, the app also supports a new industry standard, which is um, for content provenance called C2PA. Uh, it was first uh, released, I think, on a Leica camera. So we also add uh, provenance of the content within the metadata of the photo or the video that you're going to share on the internet through this app. And we make a record on the blockchain. So that is really unique about what we do. Uh, we've been building for seven years our own network on wow. blockchain. It's mm -hmm. called uh, the Nodal Network. Uh, we have uh, already almost a million people who are holding the token on chain. It's uh, every day more than 100,000 people with our wallet app. And what we do with the, this network is we map uh, a lot of the wireless signals. Uh, and that way we can also help prove the location. So we do two things very well. We can prove the location of the photos and the videos you take. And we can prove the time. And then we add all the metadata to the media using this uh, new provenance protocol, uh, which is called C2PA. It's pushed by the Adobe, by the Linux Foundation, uh, and now being adopted on many cameras. And we make it available to everyone on any smartphone. OK, so all of that technology is going to power and drive what's behind Click and how it is very, very special, because these are basically, it's like, sort of like minting an, a non-fungible token, an NFT on the blockchain. And so we know that this is a unique and singular copy of, or it's the original of this image. So I think that that all is amazing. But maybe we could put it into simple terms for somebody watching who might not really understand all of the technology behind this. Tell them how they would use it, or what is a use case that somebody would find this very useful for? So the, I think each time there is content uh, that you come across in your daily life that you feel has some value, uh, you should have the app and basically be able to shoot that content uh, or the scene that's happening. Uh, um, you can do a photo, you can do a video. You can use the click app like your camera. Uh, and it's very simple. You just uh, click to take the photo or shoot a video. Uh, you uh, swipe to sign your content. When you sign your content, it is pushed on the decentralized internet, on mm -hmm. IPFS. Uh, and then it makes a record on the blockchain. And what's amazing, especially for creators, uh, influencers, is because there is a blockchain element, you own the content you push. So even if you share your content on uh, social media or messaging using a short link provided by, uh, by this app, you still own the content. Mm -hmm. So someone can uh, find you easily, uh, can trace the ownership. And in the future, we hope that more and more people will use also this tool to monetize some of the content they uh, share publicly on the internet. OK, so right now, if somebody takes a photo, they put it up on Twitter, and a news channel in their neighborhood is interested in that footage. They have to ask the owner, you know, may we use it? But oftentimes, people will just screenshot it and share it, and then we don't know what happens to it. It gets manipulated. We can't actually tell if this is even, a, like you said, a generated AI, uh, gen AI image, or if this is an image that was taken with someone's phone. So uh, we have a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. And 
I think that the blockchain, of course, and Web3, these elements, these protocols that are being, of course, like that's, that's the underlying principle of what you're making and how it's being built, um, is going to provide that security and that structure for us to have more trust with our media. And do you think that it's going to be influencers who are going to feel the need for this first because it will prove that their content is true and real? Or do you think it's going to be everyday people like somebody who goes to a protest or somebody who is just taking a picture of their kids? What do you think is going to be the early adopter of this technology? So what we see today on the network, it's a, we, we say it's a digital trust network. Mm -hmm. we, we are very surprised because uh, up until now, this, with this public uh, launch of the, of the beta version, uh, we had already a lot of people participating and sharing photos from just beautiful images from photos at, in, in the Yosemite Park or at the top of the uh, volcano in Guatemala, mm -hmm. from people also filming protests in Italy about supporting Ukraine, mm -hmm. or people in Spain f filming an explosion that was happening on the building. So it's, it's actually working, mm. uh, and it's just, it's just starting. But you make a, a good point when um, you say, what's the, really the, the first market? We think influencers, celebrities, people who need uh, to protect the uh, authenticity mm -hmm. and the ownership of the media mm -hmm. they, they produce are uh, very likely to be the, the first big adopter of this uh, new app and technology. Uh, so we want to build uh, specific tools for them. That's amazing. And if you are looking at, I guess, monetization at some point, like you mentioned, is that a marketplace that would be built through you? Or do you think that that would be a partnership, for example, with the Associated Press or with Getty Images? Or where do you think? Or is it all of the above? Um, it's, it's a very good question. Uh, I, I think the problem that we, we think we can solve uh, is, uh, so today if you are a local media and you see on uh, X or Twitter uh, like a, a photo that you are interested to, to use for your publication, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you have to reach out to the person on the X. Maybe uh, it's hard to, to, reach, to DM that person. Maybe they don't look at your messages. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so it takes time. It's a very complex, for, um, basically, um, interaction. So we would like to simplify that. So you can uh, reach out to that person uh, very directly or offer to, to, to bid to actually acquire the content or just even tip that, uh, that content owner. So I did it last week. Uh, I was publishing a post on Medium and I, I saw on the network, uh, I mean, a photo I liked, which was just a, a railway uh, uh, with the horizon in, uh, in, in Brazil. Uh, and it was about uh, actually talking about blockchains. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so I thought it, was, it would be a great illustration. Um, and um, because there is traceability, we know the wallet of the owner, I just uh, sent nodal token to that uh, owner. And he, he found me on uh, another social media on Instagram and replied and said, wow, that's amazing, thank you so much. Uh, you basically uh, changed my life, I'm very happy. It wasn't a big amount of money, but mm -hmm. for that person who, was, uh, who is living in Brazil, obviously it was, it was still an important uh, 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 amount. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I think if we can facilitate these things, and then at mm -hmm. some point, uh, yes, maybe a, a marketplace could emerge, we will see the, the, the use, you know? Mm -hmm. um, we, we think tipping uh, is also a good way to, um, for, for a creator to be rewarded if they have a video or for the people are watching and like. Uh, if we can incentivize these people to actually just tip the, 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 the creator, mm -hmm. it uh, would be also a good way. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that reminds me of the YouTube super thanks where if people like the content they can thank the creator once they have a monetization on their channel so uh yeah i think tipping thanking uh more like gratitude you know because you appreciate what mm -hmm. somebody made and made the effort to do uh when you share the content and can, maybe you'll be able to share with me some of your b-roll we can look at it on the app uh together but i'm curious about what it looks like when you want to embed your images somewhere is there a um, what makes, it, how does somebody know that it's authenticated? Do we have the click logo on top of the image or what happens to the image so that we know that it's verified? So it's a little bit like the um, YouTube video. I think YouTube did an amazing job and why they are so popular also and, uh, and adopted is because you can embed your video anywhere. Mm -hmm. You can share the short link of your video anywhere. And we do the same with click. So you can share the video or the photo you took through, through a link. It can create a preview automatically on any social media platform, on any messaging application. And when you go on the web page where you have this, um, this image or this video, 
Uh, you have uh, tools on the web page that enables you to verify it's uh, actually authentic. You can download the media. You can embed it. Uh, so you have code automatically available to be able to embed it in a blog post, for example. And you can also share it on any social very easily. And you don't need to have the app. It's really a web-based uh, solution. It. Got it. Yeah. And uh, from what I understand about your background, you've been coding since you were super young. So you have been, uh, I mean, you've had a passion for uh, computer science and technology and coding for a really, really long time. How do you feel about this particular project compared to other projects that you've done? Because clearly there's a great business model, but it seems like this is really your passion. Just maybe you could share with our audience what you, you so know, we, what, what was the big aha moment before you decided to make this? So we, uh, I mean, we, we are a big team with 30 people working, um, in, it's, it's a lab. Mm -hmm. We're build, building our own blockchain, uh, and uh, we, we try to find uh, new use cases for blockchain because everyone is familiar with the decentralized finance use cases. Uh, and uh, But we, we think that there are other applications that can be built and uh, leverage this technology for good, mm -hmm. and especially in this case for social good. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we started to explore with photography more than a year ago. Actually, the first prototype, I would say, was on our wallet app last year at South By. We were enabling people to, to mint a photo or a video through the app very easily. So we started to explore. And, um, and, and then we realized that um, given generative AI growing, uh, so just to share a number, generative AI in, in a year and a half approximately has generated the equivalent of uh, 150 years of photography. Wow. So if we, which is about the like duration of all photography, right? I mean, that's when photography. Yeah, exactly. So, so, <laughs> and that's invented. only going to accelerate. Yeah. So if you, um, if people are not incentivized and don't have a tool to actually push authentic content online, we know that we're going to end up in the, the Michael Street movie from the 1999, The Matrix. Yeah. And one day, a couple of years from now, someone is going to come to you and say, "Do you want a blue pill or the red pill?" Yeah, exactly. So uh, we have to do something. Uh, and I think we, we provide the right tool to enable that. Uh, we are big uh, fighters of freedom for democracy. And uh, so this app actually, uh, yeah, the whole team is really um, excited about launching this app and giving it uh, to as many people as possible. Uh, so it's uh, something that we are very passionate about. Uh, I think uh, freedom uh, of speech, uh, democracy, it's very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, th if this can help fight misinformation and disinformation, then yeah, it will be a, a big accomplishment. This is incredible. So this is uh, Misha, and you guys should connect with him. You should download the Click app. If they want to get in touch with you directly, what's the best way to reach you or your company? Maybe share your so website. You, so you, you, you can reach out to me on uh, Twitter X. It's at uh, Antenor. It's my uh, second name, A-N-T-H-E-N-O-R. Great. We'll put that in the comments yeah, for sure. The, the, the Click app uh, website is clickapp.com. And then you will be guided to install the app very easy. Which I did yesterday, and I got to play with it, and it was super cool. So yeah. And uh, and um, the handle for the Click app is uh, at Click Your Truth, so easy to remember. Uh, and uh, yeah, super excited to be here at South by and uh, spread the word and uh, and get uh, more people to use it. We did actually a specific channel for South by. Mm -hmm. So when you are on the app and you you share a photo or a video, uh, you can post it to the South by channel, and you have a map, and you can see live what pe photos and people are taking. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so super excited to launch this uh, for this event, which is, I think, one of the most amazing festival uh, and event uh, for, for, for tech. But uh, the great thing is you have media uh, so, uh, and cult a lot of culture. So I like this mix of, uh, of people uh, during this event. So. Yeah, I do too. I think that this event has brought together a ton of amazing creatives and also creative entrepreneurs. So uh, I think that this has been an amazing chat. I've learned so much from you. I'm really excited because I feel like the frustration and sort of the despair that people feel about not knowing what they can trust, and we've talked about it being post-truth and post-trust and all of these things, especially as we go into an election year, Two billion people around the world will be voting this year. Misha, thank you so much. I'm sure that everybody watching will be inspired, will want to check this out, and will be looking for hearing about what you're doing and all of the great successes that are going to come in the next year. So well, thank you so much. Thank you, Emily, for 
this interview today. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's very important. Authenticity should be uh, should become a, an internet primitive. I couldn't agree more. So thanks everybody for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. Make sure to subscribe if you want to get more notifications from me and my interviews with people like Misha here at South by Southwest and of course everywhere I go. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Thanks, Misha. Thank you, Mili. Take care. Bye. Bye.